So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 21st ReactJS tutorial in which I'll try to implement the winner logic. So this is going to be a bit tricky because uh, to know who the winner is, we have to calculate which person has got the columns, any column, any row or any diagonal same, right? So, yeah, let's just do this. So, I'm gonna create a function. Let's just say um, check winner. And uh, inside here, we already have access to our board. So, what we are essentially looking for is if our board is like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like this so we have a winner if uh, uh, i don't know if we have like uh, zero zero three five zero three seven right so i guess we gotta calculate some moves here um we have a winner for zero three five yeah i guess we have to do this one four six zero three six i guess zero one two three four five six one four seven two five two three four five eight right then we have winner for a diagonal zero one two three four zero four eight Right, we have a winner for 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, and we have a winner for, I guess, what we have done so far. Um, 0, 3, 6 is this, 1, 4, 7 is this, 2, 5, 8 is this, then we have done our two diagonals, then we need to do these columns, right? So we have a winner for 0, 1, 2. We have a winner for 3, 4, 5. And we have finally a winner for 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that was quite some moves, right? So we have in all 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 moves for which we have a winner right so now we need to match our board and see if any of these positions have a same symbol and if it is the case then uh, we have a winner right plus what we can do is we can create something like this dot total moves is equal to zero and i'm just not keeping it in state because i do not want to re-render the component because uh, I'm just, you know, you can just do that. Yeah, you can keep that in state because uh, anyhow, when we increment this total moves, the state is going to change anyway. So we can say total moves is currently zero right now. And uh, we can just say total moves is this dot state dot total moves plus plus like that. Okay. Yeah. So now. What we're going to say is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, so if total moves are, I guess we should just do that after we have checked there is no winner. So essentially now we're going to check our board for any of this possible combination. So I'm just going to go traditional. You can just use of, make use of map or... You know all those fancy ES6 stuff. I'm just gonna go like for let i equal to zero, i is less than moves dot length i plus plus, so it's easy to see, right? And then what I'm gonna do is say, uh, let's just store uh, our board in this dot state dot board because that's kind of lengthy to write. So I'm gonna say if board. Um, moves zero now what's essentially happening here is in the first go we pick up this element in moves zero or rather moves 
i zero right so moves i gives us this one and then zero gives us zero so i'm going to check is equal to board moves i one and and board board moves i one is equal to board moves i two right so what's happening here is uh, if i can just increase the width a little here right so what we are doing here is that uh, i've created all the moves all the valid moves which are uh you can consider them to be winner moves so if a symbol a same symbol is there at these places then we have a winner and we should immediately stop the game so i'm just checking the board if the board index of zero matches with board index of three and board index of six that means zero three six if these three values matches and uh, yeah or in the next go if these three values matches if these three value matches if these three values matches then we have a winner right so what we can do is we can simply say return board moves i zero it doesn't matter because all the symbols are same right so now the problem is is that uh, in some cases what would happen if that in first turn you start from here so 0 3 6 are all blank and they'll match right so check winner would say that there is a winner apparently but there is not we are just comparing the blank values so what we can do to fix this is actually we do not need anything to fix this we already have the logic in place we just have to call check winner in click the event and uh, we can say if check winner is equal to x um, or we can just say or result is check winner and we can say if result is equal to x then we'll just say um, this dot state uh, dot uh, this dot set state rather game ended is true and we have a winner and that is x right simple enough we can just add a winner here as well as uh, uh, undefined you can say and uh, else if result is equal to o i know you can compress this code a little i'm just going very explicit with this code and this is all okay so we have some errors here and i'm just missing a comma um check winner is not defined where is check winner this dot check winner yeah and i guess that should be good so i click on here and do we have anything to check right now nope so we can just say this dot state dot uh, game ended right so now if i go ahead and write okay Okay, so there was a delay in the updation because uh, this dot set state does not immediately update your state. It takes a while. So yeah, the code is working. Now you, you can see that we can still move after the game has if the one player has won. So we essentially just want the player to reset the game. 
if uh, any player has won. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And uh, if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. And in the next one, we'll just improve upon its looks and uh, all the good stuff. So I'll then see you then in the next one.